All right, folks, welcome to Procreate. So today is a big day. They released the 4.1 version, and I am so excited. They finally added a feature that we've gotten used to in Photoshop and Affinity Photo and all of these other photo programs. We now have the ability to warp. Now, this is going to be a little bit complicated. We're going to show you this in an actual application first, and then we're going to explain how to make the adjustments in the second half. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've got this image here, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come up here. We're going to grab a animal brush. We're going to grab the elephant brush. All right. And I'm going to make sure that I've got green selected and it's going to be kind of a deeper, darker green. All right, cool. Once I've got that selected now, watch what happens. Turn this thing up. All right. So I'm going to go to create a new layer. I'm going to move this layer up. Now you want to make sure you create a new layer. And we're just gonna draw this texture on. Now we're gonna go ahead and shrink this down a little bit and I'm gonna make this even darker still. I think it's a little too light. All right, so we've got now texture around this area. Now this is key, notice how it's a layer? Watch this. Go to this area and hit warp. Now this is absolutely phenomenal. You can take the mesh now with the warp tool and you can go through and adjust it any way you want to match exactly what you're trying to do. So I can make these scales match the area that I'm trying to apply it to. This, folks, is huge. So you can take this mesh, you can flip it vertical, you can flip it horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and put it back the way it should be there. You can rotate it 45 degrees, all the normal transform stuff. You can fit it to the canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink that back down a little bit there. I don't want it sh shrunk to the canvas. Or you can go ahead and reset it back to normal. Now, there is a really cool function here, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a multiply layer just so I can see it a little bit better as I'm doing this. Take a look at this, this is cool. You can go to the advanced mesh and now you can adjust and pull each one of these individual nodes by themselves. Okay, so that's how you begin to warp. That is the application for warp. And I'll tell you, this is super cool. All right, let me show you something that's maybe a little bit easier. We're gonna go to gallery. We're just gonna grab any old gallery. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn off our grid first. Turn off the drawing guide. And now I'm gonna to come to image and I'm going to insert a photo and I'm gonna grab this here tree, right? Doesn't really matter what it is. Now, I'm gonna come up here, bring it up, come back here, let's go to warp. And now, this is really cool. Watch what happens when I hit this upper right-hand area. Move to front move to middle, move to back. Watch this. It's going to work just like a sticker. I'm going to first choose move to front. Look at that. You can now bend the image on top of itself. This is really cool. You can do some really cool stuff with the uh, eraser. All right. Now, if you wanted to change it, watch this. Click, move to back. Watch what's going to happen now. It now shifts it around back. And you see it begin to come out that other side. And guess what's going to happen with the middle, folks? You've seen the show. You now move it around to the middle area. All right, so go into the advanced. And again, move that one to the front. Guess what that's going to do. Now you can uh, replicate wind blowing. You can do a lot of really cool stuff. This is really cool to play with actually with a sphere. You can put some really cool textures inside your sphere. All right, folks. So that's a little bit on the warp function currently available in the 4.1 release. If you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos on Procreate, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you're ready to take your Procreate game to the next level, check out the link below. We've got a Procreate course, how to draw, sketch, paint, and design in Procreate. It has been updated for 4.1, and we'd love to see in the course. We've got a special coupon below for all of our YouTube subscribers. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next lessons.